Last Saturday, a groundbreaking ceremony was held at Savannah Park, New Amsterdam for the construction of a Barbies multicultural heritage complex. Michael Kahn reports. Construction of the Guyana $149 million Burbies Multicultural Heritage Complex at Savannah Park, New Amsterdam will soon get underway following the groundbreaking ceremony and cultural program, which was held last Saturday. Prior to the symbolic unveiling of the billboard by Junior Finance Minister Jai Paul Sharma and New Amsterdam Mayor Claude Henry in the presence of representatives of several African culture groups, those in attendance were fully entertained by a mixture of the young and the young of heart. The Honorable Minister Sharma in his address noted that he is pleased to be associated with the entities that are responsible for the execution of the project. I know this building will be a beautiful structure. I know this building, they discussed the cost with me, some 149 million Ghanaian dollars. It's a very tall order. They asked for the government uh, participation and I did re I'll refer them to the relevant minister, the minister within the ministry. Uh, that's the Ministry of Education, the Minister within the Ministry, and that's Nicholas Henry. I did see it's a very good minister to discuss this matter, and she will give full support. As you know, this event had to be important because, as you know, His Excellency President will be here, and, you know, we will have his support. So the Ministry of Finance, the Minister of Finance, Minister within the Finance is not that important like the, His Excellency the President, David Arthur Granger. Minister Sharma, who previously held a portfolio at the Region 6 Regional Democratic Council, added, What, is, what impressed me about this, uh, this plan here today is that this is about the three, the threefold, I would call it the threefold Barbies multi, Multicultural Heritage Complex. Threefold because this is how they pitched the sale to me. And they said, look, this thing will, will be offering uh, the opportunity for Heritage Museum, a cultural center, and a training venue. And what we saw here today is the purpose of this uh, complex. And the complex is about the youths, the youths of the past that didn't have the opportunity to benefit from such a facility. The youth of the present that will now soon be benefiting from this uh, facility. The words of Minister Sharma were well received as Afro Guyanese anticipate the dawn of a new era. <laughs> Africa, 
Mr. Jonathan Adams then had a message from the Department of Culture, Youth and Sports. For the ministry, we will be focusing on the use of culture to develop industries and not merely culture as shorts, etc. Shorts and parts and food. We would also be focusing on the heritage, on the very rich heritage which Guyana as a nation had and a heritage which is by and large misunderstood, misrepresented. Thirdly, the third area that the Department of Culture will be concentrating on this year is mainstreaming culture international development. And in that context, we are speaking of human and social development. There was more for the gathering to share about when they had another glimpse of the revival of African culture. As many shouted at Che during the well wishes and greetings from representatives of African culture groups from across Guyana, the chief citizen of New Amsterdam took to the podium. It is a journey, a journey that has started and a journey that we will see in the shortest time a new spanking complex on this site. The Revival, Awareness and Perpetuation of African Culture Rapac Group, the Council of Friends of New Amsterdam COFONA and the New Amsterdam Enhancement Group will be collaborating to ensure the successful establishment and uses of the proposed three-dimensional facility. <laughs> Channel 8 News.